Andre Rublev versus Yannick Sinner is the second quarterfinal for the Australian Open men's for 2024. And both guys have had totally different roads to get to this stage. Rublev entered the tournament as a number five seed and would take on Vilch in the first round. And after winning the first two sets, he'd be forced to play a fifth Saving match points and getting through 7 5 6 4 3 6 4 6 7 6. Second round, he'd take on Eubank. This was no problem for Rublev getting through in straights 6 4 6 4 6 4. Third round, he'd take on Sebastian Corder, the 29th seed, who had had a deep run here last year. But again, Rublev super impressive getting through in straights 6 2 7 6 6 4. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 10 seed, Demonor, who'd been very impressive to get to this stage. And after winning the first set but losing the next two, Rublev would have to fight back to win 6 4 6 7 6 7 6 3 6 love to advance to the quarterfinals. Sinner entered the tournament as a number four seed and would take on Van der Zandtrup in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 4, 7 5, 6 3. In the second round, he'd take on De Jong, the qualifier. And again, no problem for Rublev getting through in straights. 6 2, 6 2, 6 2. In the third round, he'd take on the 26 seed Baez. And this is by far Sinner's best performance getting through in straights. 6 love, 6 1, 6 3. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 15 seed Hashinov, who had had a lot of experience in Grand Slam matches, but Sinner was Way too good, getting through in straights. 6-4-7-5-6-3 to advance to the quarterfinals. These guys have played six times before with Sinner leading the head-to-head 4-2, including winning both their matches from last year in straight sets. And in fact, the only two wins that Rublev have were through retirement. So really, the four matches that they have actually completed, Sinner has won them all. And over the last couple of matches, like I said, Sinner hasn't actually lost the set against Rublev. If Rublev's going to win this one, he needs to get his energy up quick. And he also probably needs to win the first set because he has had two really, really tough matches, especially that Diminor match. It's having cramp at the end. So he needs to really get off to a good start and take it up to Sinner. We saw Hashinov do that really well, serve big, and really be aggressive in Sinner's face. If Sinner's going to win this one, he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. He's not lots of set. There's no need to change the game plan unless Rublev makes him change the game plan. So he just needs to keep going, keep doing what he's doing, serve big, come to the net, use the variety, use the forehand. It's been really, really effective. And really frustrate Rublev as well because we know that the longer the match goes, the harder it's going to be for Rublev. What a fun matchup. You know, a top 10 clash. We probably want most of these top 10 clashes in this stage. They've only ever played once at a slam, but we didn't get to see the entire match. The French Open a few years ago, but I've got to go with Sinner in four. I think Sinner's playing so well at the moment. And even though he hasn't played massive names, I just feel like he's playing so good. And he's going to beat Rublev in four. I think he might maybe lose the first set or maybe lose the second, but I think he's going to get the win in four. Rublev might run out of gas in the end, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the semifinals.